Hi Aries, welcome to your harsh truth reading for the month of March. Um, everything you need to know about this reading, as always, is in the description box below. Hierophant. So, hmm. This could be a spiritual awakening, could be the need to have faith and the things that ground us, the need for self care and start doing something along those lines. Um, or it could simply be also your marriage is in question. This could be Taurus. Or you're thinking about your marriage, I should say, or thinking about a marriage, getting married, that sort of thing. Page of Swords, Five of Swords, Knight of Cups. Two of Wands. Can you see that? Yes. King, Knight of Wands. So interesting. We got Swords and Cups up here. Knight of Wands. I say, what do you bet this is going to be an Earth sign? <laughs> okay. King of Cups. Wow. Okay. All right, Aries. So this could be Scorpio. This could be Pisces. This could be Leo. Um, and we got Taurus also. This could be uh, any fire sign, any water sign. But... But if we're talking about specific delineations, like, you know, court positions, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. But again, it could be any water sign. It doesn't have to be a water sign, period. It could be someone with those uh, that energy or those characteristics. All right, so let's start with the Page of Swords here. Well, you certainly don't want things to be cut off. You don't want to be cut out or cut off or someone to be ruthless and cruel verbally, that sort of thing. You, maybe you don't mind a little silent treatment or, or communication kind of being indirect, like mostly online or with some sort of buffer, not face-to-face -face direct communication. Or maybe there's periods of incommunication, non-communication. In did I say incommunication? What I meant was periods, bouts of not consistent communication. What's this page of swords about? Oh, knight of cups, knight of cups. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, hold on a minute. What's this? Because you don't want to be cut off. You don't want to argue. You don't want the fighting. You don't want the cruelty and the drama. What is, is this? Is this taking a... Uh, hmm. Is this somebody that's hot and cold that is really controlling emotionally? Is that what this is? And maybe things have... Maybe now you're in the silent treatment or things have slowed to a stall because... You, maybe you're questioning, should I marry this person? Should I move forward with this person? What's this Knight of Cups about? I love how the horse is posing, you know? Look at that. <laughs> the horse has a selfie game. <laughs> All right. What's this Knight of Cups about? So it could be that someone is wanting to work things out. Someone's hoping that someone gets some, um, is working on themselves. They're waiting to hear from someone. They're looking forward or they, they would like to work things out or move forward. But there's, there's pause for some reason. There's, there's having to wait. And it's probably because maybe there hasn't been, there's an offer made, perhaps, and yet someone might be not talking, like acting out of self-preservation and just kind of shut down because they just feel like things are kind of volatile. This could be somebody doing and offering romantic gestures to reestablish some kind of control or they're very possessive. This could be a very possessive partner. And because of that, someone has kind of backed off and started to do the fade or communication is minimal and sporadic. Perhaps you're going through a period of fighting and you're just communicating online and someone is waiting to hear back on this offer of romance and love and moving forward, taking this relationship to the next level and hoping that things will work out and that you two can work on things together. Um, I think you want more time. I think you want someone to be patient and, and just kind of give you your space to make decisions. I think you want the, to be able to actually make a decision, to have choice. That Five of Pentacles just wanted to fly out. What's this Two of Wands? This is Two of Wands. 
Okay, so we got the King of Pentacles here. This could be Virgo. This Knight of Wands, Swords, um, could be Aquarius. So it's a mixed bag here as far as the energies, but you know, it kind of feels like on the one hand, it's like you, like I said, you want the patience and the time and the space to be able to make your own decision. You don't want to feel rushed or hurried or feel like, you know, like I need an answer right now. Like you don't want to be, there's that part of it. But you would also, we've got two cards of control here with this King of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. Both of those cards are about being in the seat of power and maintaining control and do and acting in a way and acting thusly, doing whatever you have to do to preserve that power. That's first and foremost, that's a priority. This is about self-preservation. This is just somebody who's at the top of their game and knows how to maintain that power. But either way, this is about doing things so, you know, to maintain that power. The thing is, This feels like somebody that, okay, they're going to be nicey, nicey, romantic, sweetsy in an attempt to get control of a situation possibly or to reestablish balance and order. If you take too long and you wait too long, all of a sudden they get kind of demanding and downright um, controlling and this offers, because so we, you see the, the similarities here, control, and then we've got this offer of sweetsy, nicey, all of a sudden turning into, hey, I need a decision. And what are you, da, 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 da. So is there like a time time limit on you being able to make a decision? Maybe you just want to leave things open in and have the time to make your decision and just be under yourself for a while and do what you want to do when you want to do it. Be solitary. But I feel like this is someone not giving the time to make a decision I feel like after a certain point, they become impatient and maybe kind of dogmatic and demanding and controlling and domineering. Maybe you're afraid of being cut off or feeling cut off, but it's kind of like extremes. It's like there's no, um, there's no in between. It's either really romantic in an effort to control or it's really controlling in an effort to control. But the bottom line is situational authority or wanting to have control over that situation and yet we're either going to do it romantic manipulative you know intensity or we're going to just do it outright unexpected jarring shocking to where you get back in your box either way well that's not really going to work with you is it Aries <laughs> I mean that's come on but this is a, a power control and either way it feels like you are kind of being hands-off like you're kind of like very minimal communication or I need more time I'm still deciding I'm deciding I'm deciding and I think this person's like slowly starting to implode because they don't, the control is a real issue for them. So anyway, uh, <laughs> we have here waiting of, on an emotional offer. Someone's waiting on an emotional offer, hoping for forward movement, deepening the relationship and working on things, things working out. It could be too that this is about movement, about someone moving because nights are about movement. But this is also physical distance might be involved. So hopefully that, you know, this, I think someone's hopeful that the relationship, if there's a physical move involved, if they're not waiting for an answer, this is about waiting for someone to make a decision to move or relocate. And then things can, or maybe this is about working on relocating so that the relationship can go to the next level. This is King of Cups about. And it's not that I'm negative. I just, you know... It's not like, oh, everything, because it's not. Everything's not going to be fine. It never is. It's perfectly imperfect or imperfectly perfect, however you want to see it. So sometimes, you know, it gets knocked out of the park and it's like a home run. Oh my gosh, it's a win, win, win all the way around. But there's always nuances and layers to everything. And this is just like, this is somebody that I feel like you're starting to kind of shy away and probably question the level of control. This is a restrictive card also. This, is, this can be about having faith. This can be about marriage, but it can also be about things that have stood the test of time and are kind of the common structures of society, churches, banks, um, you know, the government, things that are, that would stand the test of time that have always been around. We do things this way because we've always done this thing, firm, fixed roles. 
Okay, so that it's about control. It's about restriction and control. So this could be that you're starting to really think of this situation and relationship as something very controlling and you're like, I don't, you can't cage an eagle, you know? <laughs> All right, what was I saying? King of Cups, what is it? Why are you there? What's going on? King of Cups, why? <laughs> okay so we go from you i feel like you want more time and somebody is just really intent on getting what they want and it looks like it works out because we've got wanting to take the relationship to the next level waiting on a decision or waiting on someone to relocate, helping them or working it out until someone can relocate or bridge the emotional, make a decision either way. Then we go from this night energy to the offer being made to actually, are we, is this how we are now that we're, are, we're actually like moving forward. Things are moving forward at a fast clip towards our happily ever after. Is that what this is? Sometimes this king of cups can be solitary though. This is someone that is, always quietly in control emotionally. And again, with a king, whatever their power or whatever is important to them, this person sits in a seat of power. So whatever is important to them, they become very strategic and good at maintaining that. This is about emotional um, stability. This is about physical security and stability. So in order for someone to feel safe and to feel loved, they've gotten very good at, at being a certain way to procure that. Whether that's good or bad depends on the situation, right? But this could be somebody that's tyrannical emotionally or this could be somebody that's very open and generous emotionally. This would seem like it's somebody that's open emotionally and generous. So I don't know what the disconnect is between here and here. This feels like someone feels a little bit controlled and is wanting more time to make a decision. Um, Perhaps this is just a breakup and someone's not talking to someone until they might get an offer and things level out and there's stability in the relationship. You don't want to be cut off, but things not being stable or the relationship not being taken to the next level, you're like, you know what, we need to either crap or get off the pot here. And so maybe this is about things being in talks to take the relationship to the next level, working things out, making decisions, maybe relocating to be by each other. This feels like, again, making decision about the future but this feels like all right this this feels like being pressured to make a decision but again it could also be someone going you know what i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna make a move towards security i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna go for it okay a couple of scenarios there because it is different and in light of all this right here it's like well apparently it does work out this, we go from the Knight of Cups to the King of Cups. So, I mean, apparently this does kind of cross the threshold to, you know, charging ahead to your happily ever after, which is great, but there's a disconnect between here because this feels kind of pressure and domineering. And then all of a sudden we've got a happily ever after here. All right. All right. I think in this sense, it's about forward movement since it's not about dating more than one person and not a stable offer. Someone always on the move from one person to the next. I don't think that's what this night is about. I think this is about things moving and progressing forward. Although someone, there might be some reluctance over here. All right, for Aries. 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 Okay. <laughs> The one time I'm happy to see this card. Why? Because I said there's a disconnect between here and between here. And I had spoken of the control and the intensity and the ah, That's what this is saying. Is everything as it should be? Is everything like beware the wolf? Are you sure that this is a good, stable, solid situation? Do you feel safe? Are you, do you know everything there is to know about moving forward with this situation? The situation might need to be vet, vetted. Um, so if you're thinking about things, taking things next level and possible marriage, this is a red flag. Are you ignoring red flags? And my the what I see here is control. I see control. All right. 
Aries. 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 Here we go. Heart space. Um, okay. <laughs> this is... This is about minimal communication, about making decisions and kind of going back and forth and kind of, I, I feel like you need uh, more time to vet this situation. I feel like you need an intuitive read. I feel like you need to check your emotions. That's a tall order. I get it. Especially if you feel like someone's breathing down your neck, but I, I is this about love? For both of you honestly or is this about control for them and for a need for security for you because this this is about feeling that lack of security and this is not this is about not wanting to be cut or not wanting to be cut off and not wanting someone to be on the constant move and not choose you so you're this is about security for you and this is about control for them just saying is this about love is this what's your gut what's how are you feeling about this that's what that asks. Okay. Hold on here. Mm. All right. And that one. Okay. All right. Aries. We'll do two cards here for Aries. We'll do two cards and then one of those. Two cards. Aries, two cards. Settling new direction, which is kind of the, like, maybe that's what you feel like. Like you're just settling because you don't want to feel cut off or you don't want to be down and out. So this might be a strategic move for you, but check your emotions, check your gut. This, these two cards together would ask, are you doing this for the right reasons? Is everything as it should be? Is this a good idea to move forward and progress with the way things are now? Don't you see red flags here? How do you feel? Or is this for other reasons this is saying are you settling okay are you settling and perhaps a new direction um you know maybe the, the new direction is best i don't know any other way to put it all right says foolish okay got the the red flag card here we got foolish taking new directions check check on how you feel check your motivation and settling all right you see where this is going it's not me being a negative nelly here <laughs> okay twin flame What would their person? We're gonna have to be twin flame because I'm not sure. I I don't really say that ever. Uh, what is what's this other person for Aries? We got. Let's give me two cards, Aries. What would their person say, Aries? What would their person say? What would their person say, Aries? Okay, and lastly, the Lenormand. Two cards, please, for Aries. All right, so we got the bouquet and we've got the garden, is it? Yeah, okay, in the garden. Put these down here, these right here. All right, so uh, hmm. this could be a blossoming online relationship. It could also be a blossoming relationship with somebody that actually enjoys playing the field that is not ready to be settled down. Okay. So this relationship might, there might be a desire to take this relationship to the next level, but who someone is not about that. It's not that they're not ready for it. I don't think they want it. I don't think this is a timing issue. I think this is about someone that the relationship might be going in that direction, but they don't want, um, a, a stable steady commitment this is someone that likes playing the field this is someone that likes having um many relationships that they they enjoy the single life or they enjoy 
this would fit with somebody this romantic gesture yet with somebody who enjoys playing the field would be the type of situation i described over here this intense emotional pursue and offer for control we got control here and the unexpected so this is i i feel like this is somebody that likes the hunt likes the conquest but needs to stay single needs to remain unattached because they're they're just they're very charismatic charming and a lot of fun and whatnot and they like to have a lot of fun but they're not meant to be attached i've never forgotten you even though you think i have okay maybe we're just too different maybe that's what you're saying aries you're definitely i think having second thoughts here so I hope you examine those closely because this is saying do not go forward. You would be settling for the wrong reasons and that there are red flags that you might not be looking at close enough. Dare I say foolish? Huh, I've never forgotten you even though you think I have. Interesting. Do you feel taken for granted? Hmm. All right. I hope this was helpful. I hope you, um, I hope you do due diligence for this situation because this is your future you're talking about, you know? It's not something to take lightly and you certainly don't want to be foolish and subtle and I'm not parroting stuff, but I mean, this is, this is, I mean, this, mm, this, this bears looking closely at Aries, okay? All right, um, I hope to see you in the next reading and you take care, okay?